First, let's start off with my SpongeBob cardboard. To be honest, I actually got this in a show bag about a few years ago. And, uh, apparently it came with a bag, and I literally just look at it, because whenever I look at it, I just, it says, How Booty Fool. I guess it's probably going to tell me that SpongeBob wants to see a booty. Why do I still have this? Next, I have some SpongeBob stickers I got recently, a year ago from my mom, because she found this in a store once, so she bought it and like, she gave it to me. I thanked her. Although right now, two stickers are on the fr are on the fridge, and I don't. Like, and to be honest with you, I actually don't care because uh, I don't know why I have this. But yeah, it's okay. Next up, we have this piece of. Why do I have this? But, uh, yeah. Next up we have this... Next up I have this Spongebob wrist thing. It also... You can, like, shade it. Huh. You can also turn it into this Padrick, which later on, a few years back, I got a bit annoyed by Padrick, so I just... I actually don't know why it's actually like this. But about a year ago when I was back at this, when I found it, I literally just legitimately found Spongebob here. Oh, good. And then Padrick is here. Oh, crumbled up. Don't even know why. But yeah, there we go. Here's this thing, which I'm not gonna fold. I'm not gonna open it because uh, I don't care. And you may remember when I did a video back on when I was opening blind bags with my parents or something a few years back, and I was opening these. <laughs> well, I actually, I don't know why, but I'm actually, I still have these. Because I'm actually still, I'm sold the doubles on eBay, and some people still haven't bought the last few packs of it. Don't really know why I still have these, because if I turn 18 or something, I might actually tell my dad to cancel all the stuff I sold on, I sold on eBay, so I can actually, so I can actually get rid of all the junk and throw it a cash converter or something. But yeah. Next, I have the SpongeBob Mega Blocks thing. And it's him and a guitar, which I actually like this from Megablox set, which is actually in Australia because back, back, usually in a shirt, Megablox SpongeBob or any SpongeBob thing in the in Australia, I barely managed to find in my town because I barely see SpongeBob in my town ever. Last time I ever saw SpongeBob was well. I usually just saw him in well, you know. Next up, I have this, um, flute thing. Well, to be honest with you, this thing is basically, some, this is basically a meme they had. If you've watched the episode where Spongebob has to have continually annoy Squidward with this, whatchamacallit, and, yeah, don't really know why. <laughs> I got this from a shab, I got this from a show bag as well, and I, apparently I have this, yeah, what? What even is this, by the way? I don't actually know, but I remember the episode it was from. This is basically what represents an episode of SpongeBob as a meme. A very dead meme, to be honest with you. Next, I'll be showing my SpongeBob beanie. <laughs> okay. Next, I have my SpongeBob DVDs, and I do actually have more than this, but. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. Because I figured that I don't know what's out. If SpongeBob is, if it's just SpongeBob, but if there's people that I don't know, I don't have them as a figure or anything in my collection, then I don't. Then that me, that doesn't matter. But yeah. So here we have my SpongeBob Seaside Story, which is like modern SpongeBob, which I'm okay with. Next we have this SpongeBob Trooper Square. I was selling this on eBay for like like five or four dollars. I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> but I don't really know why. But I might be selling. But if I don't, people don't buy this until I'm 18. I might actually just cancel the ordering and just sell it from cash converter. <laughs> Unless we have Lost at Sea. Um, people don't really like this one that very much, but I still like. I don't mind this one at all. Unless we have SpongeBob, you're fired. You know, I could I was gonna sell this on eBay as well, but eh. 
No one would bother buying it anyways. It's just suck. All this stuff just suck. Plus, there's nothing really to talk about in this. It's actually fun. <laughs> Meet my SpongeBob Wii games. This is this is actually a good game, I must say. But I actually don't own the device yet, so I'm saving this for. I'm just not gonna play this for a while. Cause I didn't even try the game, and it's kind of, yeah, good game. And about SpongeBob for Square on the get on Wii, and it has something to do with the actual with the actual episode. But it's still a good game. And this is. How many jacks thought they would have to. How many jacks thought they would have to make a hum. Make some kind of SpongeBob How many jacks toys. And how they did it? They actually made shapes from their different characters. Like, this is Patrick SpongeBob. <laughs> okay. And we have Sandy SpongeBob. <laughs> why do I have these? <laughs> okay. The only reason why I actually. The only reason why I actually got these Hummer Jacks is because, well. Uh, SpongeBob doesn't really be in America that much, so I didn't. So I didn't bother. So I wouldn't mind doing it. Although, when you come. Although, when it comes to pop figures and they cost like 50 or. 20 bucks, I'm not gonna bother. I got these for free when I buy, buy my meals. Because I looked at your game in here like every single day for two for the past two weeks and I had to wait. And they were already sold out like they actually weren't they were like selling like one of these each. Although I don't really know why I have two squidwards for some reason. Yeah. Next we have this SpongeBob disc thing. I don't know. If we have another SpongeBob Hummer Jacks toy, and I this is the one I got from 2012. Yeah, he can float on uh, water. Yeah, okay. May this is what happens when you literally go to Australia, and you go and this is what happens to you if you live in Australia, Perth, and you barely have SpongeBob. You just make your own bootleg ones. Like, I got these at a token place, when I saw my tokens, I literally found all these, so I just bought them all, and they were, like, bootleg. <laughs> I mean, this one's, like, SpongeBob wearing a hat, but uh, the hat is lost. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this, SpongeBob cutting his hair with... That's toothpaste, by the way, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this is bootleg. <laughs> Say hello to Imaginex SpongeBob's. I got these off Toy Wars, which is like a website I used to buy stuff from, but now I don't because I don't really buy toys anymore. Why is this thing going here? Okay. Yeah, moving on. Here is SpongeBob. This is regular SpongeBob, which I had, which it took me a very long time to find this one on, on website. Because he's kind of rare for some reason. And I've got Superhero SpongeBob. Which I remember his name was Super Soaker, I'm pretty sure. From the comics or something. And then we have Sleeping. And then we have SpongeBob in his PJs. Yeah. The other two was also SpongeGar and SpongeBob in War. And the SpongeBob SpongeBob in the Water. Next up, I have a SpongeBob Bouncy Ball. Oh, damn. Okay. There. It's very old, by the way. Really old. Next, we have some some kind of SpongeBob um, McDonald's toy. It's very old. I got from the show bag. It's supposed to uh, come on, slide fruit. There we go. It's supposed to change faces. But it's very old, so it doesn't really seem to work that very often. Here's another face, and uh, I'm gonna leave it there. So I have this SpongeBob Squishy. Well, I'm pretty sure it's called a Mashem. Yeah, maybe. Squishes. I might sell. I might trade. I might donate some of these to a cash converter, maybe. Well, SpongeBob, my SpongeBob stuff, maybe. I'm gonna go to order. Yeah. All right, here's my SpongeBob OG figure. This is like one of my first SpongeBob figures. I got it from a five character playset, which some of them are kind of broken, the ones that were in the pack. 
mostly mostly Squidward and Mr. Krabs, but I'll get that as a latest. SpongeBob Hot Wheels car. Why did I buy this? Next, I have the SpongeBob. Um. Super SpongeBob Invincible figure. I'm pretty sure we must talk, but um. <laughs> Meet my Mega Block SpongeBob. Some of this is a handful of my Lego like SpongeBob, Mega Block SpongeBob stuff. Meet Mermaid Man SpongeBob, Invincible SpongeBob with the ice cream cone, and Pirate SpongeBob. And meet this um, um, this is like a rare SpongeBob blind bag I got. For like five bucks, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's the SpongeBob Karate Team. Why does this guy not have an eye? I mean, the SpongeBob, which has got the wrong eyes, by the way. <coughs> He's holding a guitar, and there's moving all the way. Say hello to the geek SpongeBob Geek Trio, and they all have apples. Don't really know why it'd be nice to teach her, I guess. Although, I get. You also have a special rare edition of SpongeBob that's very rare. From, someone can be found on Toy Wiz. He's wearing this kind of schoolish thing. Although, I guess the only reason why they actually gave SpongeBob glasses a few episodes is because, well. Here's some more SpongeBob Mega Bloks characters. We have Spongebob Imagination, Spongebob in his underwear, which is rare, Mime and blind bags. We have Spongebob with a, he's meant to have an axe, but I have, but I gave him a, a pineapple instead. And wool Spongebob again. Wait, oh I know, not yet. Yeah, Mega Box wool Spongebob, and Spongebob in his pajamas. Yeah, why not? Here's most of the SpongeBob stuff. And he eats SpongeBob's arch nemesis, or known as Doodle Bob, SpongeBob's clone. And I actually like the episode they made of it. It's called. Okay, that's another SpongeBob. And this is what I got so far. Yeah, crazy, right? I better get views in this video. Meet my Patrick. This is, now let's move on to Patrick. Meet my Patrick plush, which is in his Western style. <laughs> I got this from a show bag. Except I have the SpongeBob movie. And no, I did not buy this from Sanity. I bought this like five years ago. Except I have the Spun Patrick SquarePants DVD over three hours. Except I have SpongeBob. Okay, SpongeBob Tales of the Deep. I have Spongebob Bikini Bottom Adventures, which is like season 5 or 6, I'm pretty sure. We have, and, not, and next we have Spongebob National Nonsense, which is like the golden age of Spongebob. Next we have a Spongebob, we have my Patrick Megablocks character, Megablocks. My brother Little Patrick, Western Patrick, two Sponge, oh, two Pat Tars, and one Rockstar Patrick. And got Barnacle Boys Patrick. I got and I got my Patrick, which is a pirate. Yeah. Okay. Next up, I have this Sponge, this Patrick box from Mega Blocks with the figure, of course. This is where I store all my Mega Blocks characters. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Meet my. More Patrick with some leftover Patrick stuff. Next up, I have my Imaginex Patrick, which is in his pirate form. Next up, I have my Patrick in his pirate form, just so you know. 
Say hello to Patrick Timeline. Need past, present. And future. Why am I doing this? Meet my wool, Patrick. Yeah. Meet my regular Patrick. Next, I have my Hot Wheels car, which is Patrick. Next, I have this Humry Jacks, Patrick from Humry Jacks. Yeah, this is the one I got. Next, I have my Pop Figure Patrick, which I got like five years ago. Next, I have my Patrick dis food dispenser. Candy dispenser, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. People might still have these in Australia. <clears throat> and, well, that's it. Let's have a look what we got so far. Let's see, we got... Ah! Well, um... That's good enough for Patrick. Although, if you're a person that literally likes Spongebob a lot, because I'm not really a big fan of Spongebob that much. To be honest, I only did this video just to get more comp- just to get more views and stuff. Because the last one I posted well, it didn't do so well. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I wanted to get your attention, to be honest. Yeah. And I really don't like it. Because if I have to go this way, it's either annoying or just not right. Yeah, so that's Patrick's side. Let's move on to Squidward. I almost forgot the SpongeBob Monopoly I reviewed. <laughs> I don't know why I reviewed this or why I still have it. <laughs> okay. First, I have my Squidward food dispenser, which is like one of my first, which is like my first Squidward item I got. Yeah. Meet Squidward Brothers with him and his PJs. It's a Madden act, by the way. Now, next up, I have my Squidward pop figure. Hey, Squidward. What happened to you, buddy? What the? This is what he knows. Do you have too much dabbing? And here's all my Squidward Mega Bloks things. You know, I'm not even gonna bother to tell anything about them. Oh yeah, and here's also this SpongeBob. S S Deep Sea Games DVD. With Squidward on it. You still dabbing, mate? Okay, next I have my two Mr. Krabs. Let's our imagine next. So let's just do the cheapskate now. Meet my two Hummer Jacks, Mr. Krabs. See, so I love the two broken Mr. Krabses. First up, we have a whole legion of army Mr. Mega Bucks, Mr. Krabs. And here's some more Mega Bloks, Mr. Krabs. Next, let's do Mr. Krabs' arch nemesis, Plankton, with his Mega Bloks Planktons. Meet my Imaginex Plankton characters. And hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -mm. No. A bones of Mr. Krabs. And that's Plankton. It's pretty small, I must say. Next we have the Larry Brother. Next we have the Larry Brothers. Oh yeah, and here's another Plankton. My Sandy Snail from Hammer Jacks. I have my only Imaginex Sandy 
She's very, she's quite rare in Imaginex, just so you know. I have my only good not at uh all -oh, hurt or damage Sandy pop figure. Lastly, we ha I have my Manga Block Sandy characters. Next, I have my two scuba. Next, I have my two Gary items. Yeah. Next, here's my, all my fish characters, like the citizens of something. I don't really know their names. And here's my collection of jellyfishes and mega blocks. The rest are just, um. Right there. Here's two th other things. Here's some leftover stuff. Yeah. And lastly, I have this Fine Nudgeman, Imaginex. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And that's the whole thing. Vote for Marvel, mate. What's the point of doing this, I mean, you may ask? Well, to, cut, to take all the stuff out of this bag. Let me just uh, get over it. Yeah, so that's it. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you like this video. And please subscribe because this was so exhausting and, and I'm not even proud of this at all. So, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy New Year. Bye.